You ever know you've given all you can and just feel totally used up, empty inside? Things didn't start out that way. I remember my first day on the job. I was a new hotshot, ready to set the world alight. Oh yeah, the name's Bob, and this is my story. This was Dean, seemed like an all right bloke, one of those metrosexual types. A bit full of himself, but he was climbing that corporate ladder. Dean was going places. And clearly, so was I. It's okay. But not with Dean. So I started working for a couple of clowns named Camo and Bigsy. It works. Score. Who introduced me to some shady stuff. And for a while, I got real into it. even enjoyed it. It's a period I'm not proud of. And then there was Nick. I'll do it myself. Right. Hello? Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Later, boys. I thought when he took me on, things had improved, but I soon found myself even further. All right, man, all right. I'll get it to you, man, I'll get it to you. On the wrong side of the law. Drugs, violence, even arson. I ran with some real heavies for a time. Mikey Trelane. Sammy Gemetti. Even Marco Spinoza, the second cousin of one of Carl Williams's ex-bodyguards, half-sisters' uncles. I'd reluctantly resigned myself to a life of crime, working for a crook. And then, one night, there she was. Hey, got a lie? Anything, Anything for a cutie, cutie like, like you. you. Thanks. And she clearly took a fancy to me. Oh, I was popular with the ladies that night. I was on fire with Susie and her friends. Until <laughs> I bloody slipped. And got lost in the crowd. Oh! When I came to, I realised I'd gone home with somebody. A huge bloke named Monty. My time with him turned out being very dull. Nice change, really. The big fella had only two great loves in life. Working out and working security. That's how I met Jan and Dave. No entry here, folks. Uh, okay, mate. You got a light? <laughs> it's him! It's him! It's gone! Die-hard fans they were, and we rocked out. I felt pretty on it, being held up for the boss, and pretty queasy by the end of the show. Things worked out okay with Jan and Dave, till Dave's birthday. Some stupid kid had it in for me that night. It was his fault I got left behind at Mr Wong's House of Dumplings. The waiter smelt like armpits and grease. And the alley stunk like a urinal. Hey, can you give me a hand inside, please? At this point, I was feeling pretty drained. Empty. 
I was almost relieved to have some alone time. Didn't last long though. Oh, and I thought the alley had smelt bad. Never caught the bloke's name. Talked a lot. Mumbled, really. By morning, I was alone again. Mr. Mumbles had cleared off. I felt useless, used up by the world. And would you believe it? Bloody Dean. Small world, eh? Dean, over here. Over here, stupid. Dean, mate, it's me. Bob! But I had nothing left to offer him. So, here I am. Well, I suppose in the end, who takes the time to truly remember their old flames? <laughs>